Welcome everyone to another episode of How to Make Money in Stocks with Investors Business Daily. We have to tee up the Willie Nelson music now because you're going to be on the <laughs> road again. I'm on the road again. Yeah. I will be in Charlotte for a level one, then I will be in Houston for a leaderboard, and then I will be in Orlando for a level two. So come out and see me. And you can get all the details on that on our website at investors.com slash investing show. Now this week, even though the market is kind of down, it's not a particularly good environment at the moment, we're going to talk about stocks that have exceptional problems profit margins. But first, let's take a look at the market. The market had another very turbulent week with some really wild swings. Mm -hmm. Now, overall, the market lost ground this week and oil continued to chop around, gold soared, and there were a lot of earnings hits and misses. That is true. Now, the bottom line is we're still waiting through this correction to wait to see if it gets better or if it gets worse. And on the daily chart for the NASDAQ, you can see how it's showing signs of potentially finding a bottom, but that is by no means certain at this point. It's certainly possible that things will get worse before they get better. Now, the index was stuck between 4,400 and 4,600. Now it's trading between 4,200 and 4,400. So we have been in the process of making lower lows. And even on Friday's big bounce in the market, volume was lower across the board. So something to watch for next week is China. Mm -hmm. The Shanghai has been closed for the Chinese New Year, and it's going to reopen on Monday when we have a holiday. So Tuesday could be very interesting. Now, if you go through the IBD50 stocks, the overall picture is a bit better than it was last week. There are a number of stocks like O'Reilly, which you see here, that found support and rebounded somewhat. But for most of those stocks, even, they're still fairly damaged. So more time and, of course, a better market is needed before they get back into a proper buy zone. Now, the GLD is the spider ETF that corresponds to the price of gold bullion, and it has soared the last couple of weeks, with negative interest rates in Japan, Sweden also cutting their interest rates below zero, and uncertainties globally. We have markets around the globe in uh, bare territory. The flight to safety is always gold. Right, and related to that, gold mining stocks have done very well recently for exactly the same reasons. So as just one of many examples, Rangold Resources has posted four straight up weeks, closed at the top of the price range each time. And as you can see, volume has been rising. Now, the DWTI is an ETF, which is three times the inverse of oil. Just at a glance at this chart, you can see the wild, wild yes. swings in the price of oil. So, you know, the market has traded really so far in lockstep with oil. Now, Friday, the market zoomed higher as oil jumped 11 percent for the day. This was on hopes that OPEC would cut output. But this is not a done deal. So stay tuned. We have Saudi Arabia, Russia and Iran, and they have yet to confirm this. Right. So we remain in a wait and see situation. So for now, it's definitely best to err on the side of caution and let the top stocks in the indexes show an actual change in trend rather than try to anticipate a potential change. But stay optimistic. This correction is a good thing. So be sure to keep your watch list up to date. Now, many of you are probably on the sidelines right now as we wait for a better market. But in the meantime, we want to talk about an important trait that the best stocks tend to have and can push them very much higher, make a really nice gain in a better market, and that is industry-leading profit margin. And Matt and I were joking around because the real title of today's topic is make money with this one thing, just this one thing. That's how simple it can be. And, of course... A good market. Better market a yes. better market. Right. And that is profit margins. Now, Juan Aaron Sibia wrote a great Investor's Corner article on this very topic, and we thought it would be a good one to review today. Right. And you can find that article on our website. And as Juan points out, profit margins vary widely from industry to industry. Now, software companies, for example, like Microsoft, tend to have strong profit margins since there's not a lot of cost involved with producing more of their product. And Microsoft's pre-tax annual profit margin is 30%. But a grocery store, for example, Kroger's, tend to have a lot tighter margins. It's just 2.5% for Kroger. So the key is to look for stocks with profit margins that are among the best in their own industry. 
Now, pre-tax margin is a company's earnings before tax as a percentage of total sales. And the higher the pre-tax margin, the more profitable a company is. It really is an important indication of the company's profitability ahead. And that's why we pay attention to it. Now, the screens we're looking at are from IBD Stock Checkup, which you'll find on Investors.com. And this shows numbers for extra space storage, which has a solid 31% annual pre-tax profit margin. But as we mentioned earlier, you want to see the best margins within that same industry group. So scroll up in Stock Checkup, and you'll see a list of other leaders in the group, and one is public storage. Now, another stock in that same group, as Matt said, public storage has a pre-tax margin of 52%. So when you're in stock checkup, you can look at other leaders in the group. And this group as a whole made an amazing run. But it's obvious that the pros look at this, they look at profit margins, and they invest in stocks succeeding in this area. Absolutely. So these profit margins are very important, but you have to look at other factors as well. So in terms of fundamentals and the ingredients that drive earnings, The three main elements are sales growth, profit margins, and return on equity. And it just so happens that we have a rating called the SMR rating that looks at those three things, sales growth, margins, and ROE. And it looks at them as a whole and then shows you the combined score for that and how that stock stacks up against all other stocks out there. Now, sometimes a company's super return on equity can offset weakness in profit margins. The minimum that we look for in return on equity is 17%, but the higher, the better as always with earnings, sales, and everything. Switching back to profit margins, Reynolds has a pre-tax margin of 33%. Altria in the same group has a pre-tax margin of 31%. So those are two cigarette companies that are showing profits. In addition to that, they both have pretty good Good dividends, which is also attractive to investors in the current volatile market. Right now, so let's take a quick break, and in the next segment, we'll take a look at a screen that highlights some of today's stocks with industry leading profit margins. And be sure to take a look at the entire list of stocks with leading margins that appeared in Juan's article in the February 5th version of the paper, and it will be available on our site at investors.com slash investing show. How would you like an edge that helps you pick winning stocks faster? An edge that is proven to outperform the S&P 500 by 76% since inception and that you can take advantage of today without spending a dime. More on that in a minute. Each day, our top market team at Investors Business Daily scans our proprietary stock lists and screens to find superior stocks with the most potential for big gains. They analyze these stocks every step of the way to show you bases, buy points, sell signals, and the right time to take profits. It's about as close to hold-your-hand investing as you can get. Introducing Leaderboard by Investors Business Daily. For a limited time, you can try all of the premium features Leaderboard has to offer for a full 14 days at absolutely no cost to you. You'll receive unlimited access to all of the time-saving research, powerful investing tools, the leaders list, cut list, and expert analysis you need to develop a winning investing strategy. And it's all 100% free for your first 14 days. We put together a screen to look for stocks with exceptional profit margins. So let's take a look at some of the names that pass that test. And by the way, you can see this list as well on our website at investors.com slash investing show. Now, even as the market is correcting, there are a few top names that are still producing solid profit margins. Showing up on our screen include big names like Facebook, Alphabet, and defensive names Reynolds American. Now, before we dig deeper into these stocks, let's take a look at the criteria that we used. All right, so using the custom screen building tool that you'll find in MarketSmith, we look for stocks with a 95 or better composite rating, an 80 or higher relative strength rating, 20% or better pre-tax margin, profit margin that is greater than or equal to the industry median, and 
they had to be trading at least 400,000 shares a day on average. So let's see who made the cut. All right. On the list, we have four storage names or REITs. We have Facebook and Google. We have a Singapore telecom, a big tobacco name, and two Chinese names, and one online educational Chinese uh, gaming company. So these are companies that are currently showing decent profit margins. Now, although the market is not good and many of these stocks are showing technical weakness, Keep an eye on these types of highly profitable companies. So, for example, let's take a look at the chart for Facebook. All right. Now, stocks that have made huge moves in the market are ones that have good profit margins. So it's worth screening for these as you keep your watch list up to date. Now, Facebook's holding up okay in this crazy market. It has not acted the way it should have after stellar earnings report. You know, it should not be breaking down like this. It tried to. It tried to act. It it couldn't do it. A weak market will pull everything down with it. It broke out, saw a huge volume spike, but look at the big red swelling volume that has come into it in recent trading sessions. The accumulation distribution rating is an E, which is the lowest possible. So what this shows is just how serious this correction is. Big leaders even fall when the market is this weak. Now, as we mentioned last week, if you bought Facebook a couple of years ago, like in that breakout in 2013, you'd be sitting on a very nice gain. But if you bought more recently, it's an example of the difference between a good company versus a good stock. Now, Facebook right now is a great company with a great profit margin, but it's not a great stock to buy at the moment. So now let's move on and take a look at Facebook's rival, Alphabet. All right. Now, the volatility on Facebook, at least on a daily chart, has been much more pronounced in recent trading sessions than it has been on Google. Now, both have corrected. I just want to point out, sometimes as an investor, you look at that daily chart and you go, (gasps) you know, back it up a little bit and take a Mm -hmm. look at the weekly because they look more similar on a weekly chart. It's not quite as dramatic. And that's why Bill backs it up and he takes a look at weekly charts. Absolutely. Now, like with Facebook, you can still see the turbulence in Alphabet's weekly chart chart, but the weekly chart does give you a better, longer-term perspective of where that stock stands. So it's a good idea, like you said, to use both the daily and the weekly. It will help you stay more grounded, especially in this kind of chaotic Chaotic market. market. Absolutely. So as you study past winners, and this is a great thing to do as the market corrects. This Mm -hmm. is absolutely a great time to study. Notice how big profit margins lead to big gains. And this is what we're all looking for. So you can see all of this on our website at investors.com slash investing show. I'm very excited to be with Larry Elder at the Your Money, Your Wealth mm-hmm. event, which is in, in Pasadena at the Westin on February 23rd. So if you're in the Los Angeles area, come see me. And you can find out all the details on that as well as the other places Amy will be shortly at Investors.com slash Investing Show. And while you're there, also check out the list of the stocks with the very strong profit margins. Okay. See you next week, everybody.